good evening friends in this session we are going to cover one of the most important areas of a package development uh, when you develop an SS, uh, SSIS package it, it's actually uh, a ETL solution it's Microsoft uh, technologies uh, for ETL solutions which ex extracts transforms and loads uh, data from one platform to another or, or from OLTP database uh, to uh, OLAP systems or from various uh, uh, platforms that you integrate data and, and push uh, to a system uh, which where you want to warehouse it uh, or your data but in anyhow it's it's uh, roughly put it's like a job so and, and jobs are bound to derail uh, and, and when they fail the important thing to troubleshoot is is to get to know what is the root cause cause of the failure so my point is to understand what has what is the root cause you would need some sort of logging solution which logs uh, kind of the journey the journey of the package where when it starts and and until what what point it failed uh, it ran successfully and where it failed and what was the reason of the failure so the SSIS uh, I mean uh, we can have a, a custom logging solution architecture but before getting into the details of custom logging architecture the important part is to understand what are the various solutions SSIS has to offer for logging so right, we'll be using this uh, simple SSIS package which has a, a SQL task and a, a, and a connection manager connect, connecting to my local database. Uh, if you right click anywhere on your package, you will find the first option that is logging. Select that. The next thing that you see is on the left hand side are the containers. It's, it's uh, the complete container, container and it gives you a flexibility of selecting uh, the selected, I mean, tasks when you drill down so so we since we have a sql task only uh, we can select and deselect as per our choices so what we get here is an ability to log our packages selectively from uh, if we have to, uh, if we want to on a task by task basis also now coming back to the right hand side you find two tabs providers and logs uh, and the, and the details now before I, I go to provider and, and explain providers and logs, let's see the details. The details are actually events that you would want your package to, to log upon. So uh, I would want my package to log for error messages whenever there is an error. Uh, whenever there is a, when a task starts to execute, that is on pre-execute event. And uh, apart from that, I would want a post-execute event once it, it accomplishes the task and completes ex its execution to log it that this is complete so these are the three informations I would want uh, there are other options which you can see and explore now coming back to the providers and logs here are the ones that uh, the options that SQL Server provides, uh, provides us for logging so these are the five different ways in which SQL Server will allow us to log so what we do is we will we'll try to select all of them and see how logging occurs for each of them uh, right then so first starting with uh, I have Windows event log so this will be uh, let's add this and select it we do not need any configuration because uh, when you say Windows event log it logs your uh, package uh, events on the Windows uh, event viewer so on the event viewer we'll see how where it where uh, it is, is it's logged now the next is log provider for text files let's add this and in configuration let's select the connection where you would want your package to be let's create file and then let's browse down to logs folder right let me call this text log dot txt okay the next is xml files let's add that and let's add a connection we say create file right let's 
also and also we have a SQL Server log. Let's add this to and in the connection let's use the connection that we are using currently. So this is on the and the last one is a SQL Server Provider log. This let's add this also and let's add a new connection we say create file and then we browse down to this is actually trace I do not know how many of you are familiar but uh, the trace files are with the extension of TRCs right so we have all we will be logging our events what events okay these events these three events on these five various options for the package of the tasks for the tasks so these is this is the way how you interpret uh, this logging and we have enabled it now before I run uh, this package let me make a small change in such a way that this package fails because I would want the failure messages to be captured so what I do is uh, okay right then I simply so if you see this code is bound to fail the reason is I have not supplied one uh, one column which needs to be there right so that's all and next I run this package so this package has failed now let's explore each of the logs uh, where this event would have been logged the first one is is the windows viewer so so we select event viewer So remember the event viewer will be the one on your server where you are running the package. So open the event viewer, select windows logs and applications. In the applications you would find the SSIS logger log the error messages. So here so it has failed and the details So this is uh, your event which is raised by the logger. So I think the details should also be let's look at the other uh, so this is where you would find your windows uh, uh, log whenever you're trying to log it to the event viewer so from here you can uh, start up and start looking whenever there is a failure the next is let's look at the other logs so we have the text log file okay I got the issue so whenever you're trying to log with the provider uh, of profiler and the important part is your uh, your when you use the profiler log 
your SSIS package should be running on the 32 uh, your SSIS package should be running on the 32 bit mode I think that is the issue because of which the logging has not taken place uh, right then yes it is running on 64 bit let's run it to 60, 32 bit and let's try to run the package all over again the logging has not taken place because of the 64 bit and, and the profiler that we are trying to use now let's again use it let's refresh this perfect that was the point I was trying to bring in so if you see now the details of the log are present and it sees the results it gives you the results of the issue and it also gives you the intricate details of what was the issue because of which uh, the package failed that is the column uh, insert column was missing perfect so now let's so that was a point to remember now let's explore the other ones other logs also uh, okay execute utility yeah 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 perfect next log wrap yep so it has appended for the next run and and the results said it, it is giving you the errors that you would want to so it is logged on the text file next let's open the xml files perfect so for XML also uh, you will get the error message in the XML format that you would want to the next is your trace so to be able to view the trace uh, you would have to use profiler the people working on, on uh, performance tuning should be aware of profilers so now if we open a trace file right so if you see here you get the error messages again in the profiler mode and the last option is a SQL server so SQL server would be uh, your we have used this connection db connection so let's connect to the database and the sys sys ssis log is the table where you would want to see your package errors so here you would get the package and also the error messages that you have logged so these are the five options where you would uh, where you can log your package uh, and then uh, see the results so this is the elementary basic uh, logging that uh, that i have covered and introduced you to the next uh, sex in the next session we would look at a custom logging solution based upon event handlers so how to use that and how to set up a custom logging solution it's kind of a try catch where uh, whenever there is an error you would we would want to catch something like that uh, in ssis how would we implement that so i hope this uh, this uh, tech blog uh, tech video is, is helpful to you guys and understand understanding any logging issues and how do we get the errors logged in an appropriate place I would prefer using a Windows event 
log or a, a SQL server logs for my I mean reasons uh, which I have uh, and, and practice uh, but you are open to use the way you want in your organization thank you